Good afternoon. Um, my name is Chris Edwards. I'm an editor with Tech Design Forum, am I, and I'm here with Steve Fateras, who is the product marketing director of the Design for Test Division at Mentor Graphics. And we, we're going to be talking about test issues that are facing SOC designers today. So the first question, Steve, really is, uh, what's driving interest in testing standards today? Well, we're seeing a couple of things. One is the uh, migration towards very large designs. Uh, well, by very large, I mean hundreds of millions of gates. We're seeing a lot of reuse of IP. And the, the challenge there is how to integrate, verify, and initialize, and test all these IPs. So there's a, there's a standard being developed called the IEEE 1687, uh, which is sort of referred to as a plug and play or IJTAC standard. And that is really seen as critical for uh, dealing with uh, handling all of this various IP integration into these very large designs. Yes, yes. What sort of things do you see 1687 enabling for customers? Uh, I, uh, it, uh, it will enable uh, the, 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 the streamlined uh, reuse of IP, uh, being able to adopt IP from different vendors, being able to easily integrate and verify that IP uh, in a short amount of time. Yeah, yeah. And that's critical. So, okay. Are you also, one of the big trends we're looking at now is the 3 dic right. and also the 2.5D with interposers. Right. Um, are there remaining issues in test? Is that a solved problem, or uh, are we just starting on that? If no, uh, nothing's ever solved. What we're seeing, though, is a lot of the uh, test solutions we've de developed over the years for advanced 2D designs are sort of lending themselves to the 3D space. Um, for example, uh, MemoryBist is a, a simple example we recently developed a solution for dealing with uh, memories inside ARM cores. And these are memories that are on a shared bus. Uh, and that concept of testing memories on a bus is now extendable to stack memories in a 3D stack, or DRAM stack in a 3D stack. This ability to, to understand and access and test um, stack memories on a bus is, is, similar, is a, essentially the same concept. Yeah. And so the BIST that we developed for ARM cores is being uh, addressed or applied to the 3D stacking problem. Yeah. We're also seeing similar uh, sort of migration of 2D solutions on, on the logic side. So, so for example, uh, dealing with hierarchical designs where you have multiple cores inside one design requires this ability to test the cores individually and then test in between, inside the, or in between the cores. It's a very si similar uh, requirement for a 3D stacked logic die, yes. uh, where you test the logic die separately and now you need to, to test the TSVs between the logic die. We're using this hierarchical approach is, is really the way to go and, and how we're dealing with solving that problem. Yeah, it sounds like a lot to do. And, yeah. um, and do you see new approaches coming in in the, the SOC um, test area? We've seen things like maybe things like hierarchical or hybrid BIST type approaches. Well, well so the hierarchical that I mentioned is yeah. certainly one of the things we're seeing. Yeah. The other is this need to reduce test time and reduce test patterns as we get to these larger and larger designs. And one of the things we're seeing is this migration towards pure ATPG or compression to a new hybrid approach, as you mentioned, where our, our customers want to now marry the benefits of compression with logic -based. Yeah. So the idea is you have this hybrid solution. We have now have a new hybrid IP capability where we, we've uh, integrated the capabilities of compression and logic -based together. And so you can now uh, use this hybrid approach where you use logic -based first to get a certain amount of quick coverage, and then you top that up with uh, compression patterns. Yeah, yeah, interesting. And um, do you see Design for Test also being integrated into the IP part of the flow, or is it going to be as an end of an end of chip kind of kind of issue for, for the foreseeable? No, well, I, I definitely see a migration down into the IP levels, and I think 1687 also enables that. But clearly, we're seeing more and more reuse, and so there's a, this desire to. Uh, add DFT to the IP itself, and the hierarchical solution comes into play there because you can add the DFT to the core, you can then isolate it with what we call wrapper chains uh, for test, and then that core can be simply reused over and over again, and the test goes with the core. The patterns, the BIS, the DFT are all fully transferable to the next level of hierarchy, wherever that IP goes. Yes, yeah. So, in summing up, I mean, how do you see the major impact of all these technologies on the customer? And will they sort of be able to keep um, test costs under control or even bring them down, looking at the busing right. structures of 3D yeah. and we, 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 stuff? Yeah, we definitely see that as a requirement to maintain test costs. But we think some of these advances, uh, I think 1687, for example, is really uh, uh, will improve things, improve design time, time to market, 
uh, the hierarchical and hybrid test compressed logic bits, uh, we think, will not only uh, maintain status quo, but will actually improve test time, even yeah. for the larger designs. Yeah, excellent. Um, so a good, good sort of progress there. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're trying. Okay, well, thanks, Steve. Well, Thank I've you. been, um, I'm Chris Edwards, editor with Tech Design 4, and I've been talking with Steve Pateras, um, the uh, product uh, marketing director for the design, design for Test Division at Mentor Graphics. Well, thanks, good afternoon.